Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meher Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problem sums based on factoring under the subject Innovative Financial Service. A very important topic for all the TYBM SM6 students. In this video, we are going to take up two sums uh, which will in which we'll try to cover up this entire you know concept of factoring. Okay. Now, before solving the sum based on factoring, we have to note down one formula and the method how to derive that particular formula. Okay, so that like is like a format which we need to learn. Okay, so let us see that first. Now, for calculating the effective cost of factoring or factoring, okay, the formula is effective cost of factoring is equal to net cost of factoring upon net advance taken into 100. Okay, so this is the basic formula that we need to calculate. Now, in order to calculate this, we need the numerator and denominator. Okay, always remember whenever you're solving the sum, the very first thing what you need to find is the denominator that is net advance taken. Okay, now in order to calculate net advance taken, the format is average debtors less factor reserves less commission or factor commission. Okay. When you subtract them, you get balanced. From that, less interest will give you net advance taken. Okay. Now, uh, be before going ahead, okay, just understand the concept of factoring. Okay? The factor means it is basically an financial service or an institution which takes up the job or takes up the job whereby they will deal with your customers. They will see that the money, you know, the goods have been sold to them and they will see that, you know, all the payment have been collected on time or not. Okay. So whenever they are going to do all your work of collection and all, so you are saving a lot of money in that case. You are saving your expense of selling, you are saving your bad debts. Okay. There won't be bad debts for you because all the things will be looked up by the factor institution. Okay. So for that, we need to first find what is the advance taken by the factor company. And second, okay, we need to find the net annual cost of factoring. Whenever you're going to hire a factoring company, what will be the cost incurred? Okay, so the formula is commission which that is going to be charged by the factoring commission, uh, you know, the factor company plus interest less the saving and collection expense. Okay, if you wouldn't have hired a factoring, then the expense which you were going to incur, the moment you hire and factor, you save that expense. So that gets less, less saving in bad debts because not going to have bad debts. All the things will be looked after by the factor company. So commission plus interest, less saving, less saving in bad debts and collection will give you net annual cost of factoring. Once you get the numerator and denominator, we just need to apply into the formula and then after thereafter, we'll be able to find our effective cost of factoring. Okay, so these are the only three things that you have to remember the formula, the numerator part and the denominator part. Okay, now let us see how to solve the problem sum based on factoring. Okay, now let us see the very first type of sum uh, under factoring. The question reads out that compute the effective cost of factoring from the following details. They are giving you credit sale average collection period factor reserves, factor commission, uh, bad debts, collection expense and interest. Okay, so these are the things which they have given us. Okay, so now what we'll do here is the very first thing what we'll do is we'll note down the formula. Now, we know the formula is the effective cost of factoring equals to net cost of factoring upon net advance taken into 100. Okay, now that's the that's the final formula that we need to apply. So now for that we need to find the numerator and the denominator. So very first thing what we always need to find is the net advance taken. Okay, that is the very first thing we will always try to find. Okay, so I'll just underline that. That's the very first thing that we need to find. Achha, now as for the format very first thing will be average debtors okay so 
so average debtors now in the sum in the question is given that uh, credit sales is 12 lakhs so that's like per annum and the average collection period is 3 months so average debtors will be credit sale which is 12 lakhs into credit period that was 3 months so 3 divided by 12 so 12 lakhs uh, into 3 divided by 12 we should get the average debtors value as 3 lakhs okay next less reserves that is factor reserves okay now in the question they are giving you a factor reserve of 20 percent so it will be 20 percent of the average debtors so it will be 3 lakhs into 20 percent which will come to 60,000 next is less commission okay in the question it is given commission is factor commission is four persons so or again four person of average debtors so three lakhs into four person that will come to twelve thousand okay we add up three lakhs uh, sixty three lakh okay so three lakh less sixty that will go two lakh forty less twelve thousand it is 12,000, I have written 1 lakh 20, 12,000. So on a calcy, 3 lakh minus 60,000 minus 12,000. We should get the balance as 2 lakh 28,000. This is my balance. Now on this balance, I'll have to remove the interest. So less interest. So it will be 2 lakh 28,000 into. Now the rate of interest given in the question is 18%. So I write into 18% and it is a 3 months period, uh, credit period into 3 divided by 12. So it will be 2,28,000 into 18% into 3 divided by 12. We should get the answer as 10260. It's less. This is also less. This was also less. So I will subtract it. So 2,28,000 minus 10,262. So I get I will get two lakh seventeen thousand seven hundred and forty. This is the net advance taken. See, so we were able to find the first value that as the denominator. Second, second, we have to now find the net annual cost of factoring. Okay, now in order to find the net annual uh, cost of factoring, remember it is we will be taking all the annual values. Okay, so whatever values have been given uh, per month or quarterly or anything, we will be making it into complete 12 months. Okay, so very first thing as per our format under net annual cost, the very first thing that will come is your commission. So I'll write your commission. Okay, now in the question, the commission was 4%. So we and we will be taking it on the complete. Okay, so commission year we had taken commission on 3 lakh because that was for 3 months. So now here you will have to take on the entire amount. So credit sale was 12 lakhs into 4%. So that will come 12 lakh into 4%. That is 48,000. We will add interest, the annual interest. So the annual interest will be two lakh twenty uh, on two lakh twenty eight thousand. We'll have to take eighteen percent. So that will be on the balance two lakh twenty eight thousand into eighteen percent full annum. Okay, it's for the complete year. So four one zero four zero less saving in collection expense because we are hiring factors. Okay, so we won't have to spend any money for collection. So that amount gets saved. Uh, he has given collection expense of 20,000 per annum. So 20,000 will be getting saved. We won't be selling it. Everything will be looked out by the factor institution. So we will be even saving on our bad debts. So saving in bad debts. Uh, bad debts given is 2%. So 12 lakh into 2% is 24,000. Again, this is on the total amount, so that was 12 lakhs into 2%. 
okay so when i total it up so it will be 48000 plus 41040 minus 20000 minus 24000 45040 okay that is our net cost of factoring now i have the numerator and the denominator so finally i can write therefore the effective cost of factoring equals net cost of factoring which was 45,040 upon net advance taken 217740 into 100 so when you divide multiply so we'll take on a calculate 45040 divided by 217740 into 100 we will get a final answer as 20.68 percent okay so that's our annual cost of factoring or effective cost of factoring okay so something very simple you just note that, remember the format okay Chalo, so this was the very first sum uh, under factoring now let us see the next sum the second sum okay the second question reads as AMR TM Limited has a total sales of 3.2 crores, that is 3 crore 20 lakhs, and its average collection period is 90 days. The past experience indicates that bad debt losses are 1.5% on sales. The expenditure incurred by the firm uh, in administering the, its receivable collection efforts are 5 lakhs. So, expenses 5 lakhs, bad debt is 1.5%. A factor is prepared to buy the firm receivable by charging 2% commission. So commission is 2%. The factor will pay an advance on receivable to the firm at an interest at 18%. So interest is 18%. Uh, after withholding 10% as reserves, so reserves are 10%. Calculate the effective cost of factoring of the firm. So again, first we will note down the formula. So we will note down. effective cost of factoring is equal to net cost of factoring upon net advance taken into 100 okay now under that first thing what we need to always find is net advance taken so i just underline this we need to first find the net advance taken so for finding that we need to first note down average debtors now in the question they had given you sales of 3.2 crores and the time period the credit period is given us 90 days so average debtors will be 3 crores 20 lakhs okay 90 days so into 90 divided by 360 so 3.2 crores into 90 divided by 360 we will get the value as 80 lakhs okay so our average debtors is 80 lakhs from average debtors we have to first minus the reserves in the question they are giving you a reserve of 10 percent so that will be 80 lakhs into 10 percent which will come to 8 lakhs and it is less so less 8 lakhs after that we have less commission now commission given in the question is 2 percent so 8 2 3 4 5 6 80 lakhs into 2 percent that is 1 lakh 60 thousand again it is less i will subtract it so 80 lakhs minus 8 minus 16, 1 lakh 60 will give you 70 lakh 40,000. That's like a balance. Now, from this balance, I'll have to calculate less interest. So, that will be 70 lakh 40,000 into the rate of interest is 18 percent into 18 percent into 90 days upon 360. So, 70 lakh 40,000 into 18 percent into 90 divided by
डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री सिक्सटी वी शुड गेट दउंट एज थ्री लैक्स सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड अगेन आई विल सप्रैक्ट एंड आई विल गेट द वैल्यू एज सिक्स सिक्सटी सेवन लैक्स ट्वेंटी थ्री थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड दिस इज नथिंग बट बाई नेट एडवांस टेकन नाउ सेकेंड वी नीड टू फाइंड द नेट एन्युअल कॉस्ट ऑफ फैक्टरिंग so net annual cost of factoring ka formula okay before that we'll just underline this part okay very first thing we need to note down is the commission and interest so i'll first note down commission now this will be for the entire year okay this is annual so it now the sale was 3 crores 20 lakhs so it will be 3 crores 20 lakhs into commission was given as 2% So three crores twenty lakh into two percent will get you the value of six lakh forty thousand. We add interest, annual interest. Interest is always taken on the balance that we have got. So seventy forty into eighteen percent, which comes to one two six seven two hundred. From this, we'll have to less savings. So one will be saving. in collecting expenses or collection expenses in the question is already given 5 lakh ka savings uh, in expenses have incurred and from there we will be again lessing the savings in bad debts so saving in bad debts uh in the question is given as uh, 1.5% to so 3 crore 20 lakhs <coughs> into 1.5% So three crore twenty lakh into one point five percent will give you four lakh eighty thousand. We will subtract it. So six lakh forty. Uh, it will be six lakh forty thousand plus one two six seven two hundred minus five lakh minus four lakh eighty thousand. We will get the value as nine lakh twenty seven thousand two hundred. This is nothing but the net annual cost of factoring. so now i can directly apply into my final answer the effective cost of factoring is equal to net cost of factoring that was 927200 upon 672320 into 100 which comes to 13.79% so our effective cost of factoring is 13.79 percent okay so this was the second sum uh, in uh, the question was a little given in the paragraph form but the way of solving is again the same okay chalo i hope everyone have understood up to this point okay so we solved two different types of sum one was where the data was directly given and the second one where the another you know, question was in a paragraph form but again the solving is same for both the types of sum okay chalo i hope everyone have understood it okay you just need to revise that format based on the format you need to solve the sum chalo with that we will be ending this video here thank you